I'm Gail Newman and I want to show you how to make a crumb horn reed for a tenor crumb horn. This is an instrument that Phil and I made a copy of and we measured it in the Art History Museum in Vienna. It has also a reed with it that we designed our reeds from. It's a very old reed. They think it might have been the original reed. I'll put the cap back on. Put the crumb horn down and I'll show you all the tools you're going to need. You need a reed knife. You can get them either right-handed or left-handed, or you can get them both-handed, which is this. You need an easel. This is just a wood dowel that's about an inch and a sixteenth in diameter. You can cut them to whatever length you want. You can even get a fancy bassoon uh, easel at, in a shop if you want to. Um, you can use uh, calipers. These are millimeters. For small dimensions. Uh, brass wire, this is 24 gauge brass wire. You can get that at a bassoon reed shop. We have a couple of kinds of plaques. These are made of metal. One is just a plain flat plaque. One has a little bit of a depth to it. This supports the reed blades when you're working on them. You'll need some cotton thread any color you like, a pair of sharp scissors, you'll need a little pen knife, a very sharp blade, nice pencil, a piece of brass tubing, this is quarter inch tubing, the whole tube, you can cut the tubing with a tubing cutter, I've already cut it to the right length for this um, reed, tubing cutter, and then you'll need to use a file to clean up the edges. There's a flat file and a round file if you have it. A nice light, you can shine into the reed. That's helpful toward the end of the building process. You'll need some wood glue. Um, you'll need some either duco cement or what I like is clear nail polish. It's very easy to use. You'll need a little tuner. You can use your phone tuner or a regular tuner. 220 grit sandpaper. You can cut them into small bits. You might need a little clip. This is a Boston clip. If your blades come apart before you're ready for them to, you can use that to hold them together. You need, the most important part, is you need reed cane. This is Arundo Donax. It's the same kind of material that we've been using for thousands of years to make reeds. This is a piece of bassoon cane, and you can also get contra bassoon cane. It's a little bit larger for bigger reeds. This has only been gouged. It hasn't had anything else done to it, so when you order your cane, it's really important to get plain gouged reed cane. We soak it in warm water before we work on it. And if you would like a written explanation of how to make reeds, we have this little pamphlet. Making double reads for Renaissance woodwinds, and you can find that on our website and buy it there.